afternoon, everyone. I would like to start by saying that when I first started MOOT, the MOOT program, I thought, oh my word, there's so many people and how am I going to get through this? Because in MOOT, you have to interact, you have to speak your mind, and you have to respect other people's opinion. I stand here today to share my experience of MOOT, and I can honestly say it has taught me much. Each and every one of us have, has some sort of problem or issue that we strive to overcome. Mood has taught me to focus on myself and what I want in life. How to interact with others ir irrespective of their cultural or racial background, their age or their sex. To have the ability to respect, understand, to be honest and truthful, to believe and have courage to stand up to others. This program encourages us to be exactly what we are meant to be and not what others expect us to be. I remember during one of the sessions, I thought, if I want to be successful, I will have to face my fears head on. And this was one of my greatest fears, <laughs> standing in front of a large audience. I think I deserve a pat on the back. Looking back, I am honoured to have participated in a program where I, have get, where I have gained confidence, courage, motivation, drive, willingness and determination, just to mention a few. My greatest joy is knowing that I can make a, different, a difference in other people's lives and would like to end on this note. Throughout the universe, there is order in the movement of planets, the sea, and the functioning of the human mind. A mind that is in its natural state of order, is in harmony with the universe, and such a mind is timeless. Your life is an expression of your mind. You are the creator of your own universe. For as a human being, you are free to will whatever state of being you desire through, your, through the use of your thoughts and words. There is great power there and a blessing or a curse is entirely up to you. For the tranquility of life is brought about by the quality of your thinking. Think about that. Thoughts produce action. Look what you are thinking. See the pettiness, the envy, the greed, fear, and all other attitudes that cause you pain and discomfort. Realize that the one thing that you have absolute control over is your attitude. See the effect that it has in those around you, for each life is linked to all life, and your words carry within chain reactions like a stone that is thrown into a pond. If your thinking is in order, your words will flow directly from the heart, creating ripples of love. If you truly want to change your world, my friends, you must change your thinking. Reason is your greatest tool. It creates an atmosphere of understanding which leads to caring, which is love. Whatever you do, do it well, because tomorrow comes more quickly, more quickly than you think. So make the most of every day. Thank you.